Hey everybody, it's Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Glad to have you today. We're going to be taking a look at a 1970s Smith Corona Coronet Automatic 10. Now, this is not the original color, though. Their um, starburst blue, or I think it's something like that, um, is very similar, but this is a, more of a slate blue, and we did repaint it. Um, and that has nothing to do with your typewriter. Just want you to know that these typewriters do not come in this color. So I'm just gonna show you how to use one um, because this one's in pretty good condition. Oh, I'm gonna turn, it was on. It was, so this is an electric with a power return. That means it has to be plugged into the wall, has a power cord. Um, the power switch is right here. You heard it humming. That's what it was on, but let me go through and show you the parts of this typewriter and um, I'm not going to do a typing demo on this. So first of all, your serial number is right here. There's a metal plate underneath on the right side. That's where your serial number is. If you want to know more about your typewriter, you can look up your serial number on the typewriterdatabase.com. The, just note that the Smith Coronas from the 60s and 70s do not have specific dates. You kind of have to narrow it down to decade. Okay, back here is a paper holder. Keeps the paper from flopping over. Your margins, you press and you drag to wherever you want to set your margins, okay? Now, keep in mind that this carriage, this is called your carriage right here, is only going to move as far as you have the margin set. So to move this carriage, you just pull this handle in. You hear the bell there. So you should be able to hear your bell when you get close to your margin. And um, let's say, I'm gonna move your margin in. You get to the margin and then the typewriter is gonna stop. You can't move any further. And if you are in the middle of a word, you might be like, hey, what do I do? So um, you hit MR, which is right here. MR and that releases the margin so you can finish out your word or your sentence, okay? And then you just hit your return handle. Well, when you hit your return handle, it's gonna um, advance either one, two, or three lines depending on how, where you have it selected. This is called a line selector and that's gonna be on the left side. And so that is determines how far it advances. Again, to move the carriage, you just pull in the lever. There should be one on this one. This one happens to be missing the lever on the left side, but normally you have a lever on both sides. There is one thing that's very common about these 60s and 70s. These plastic levers for the carriage release, they do break really easy. So it's very common for one or both of them to be missing. And if one is missing, there's actually just a metal piece down here that you can still, um, Usually you can pull it, well, that one's not. Um, but usually you can put something, we've seen pen caps on there, people just put stuff on there to keep it going. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. And you'll see we've put in a universal ribbon, which is a two inch spool. That will work in these typewriters. If you need a ribbon, I have a link below for you um, where you can get these ribbons on our website. It does take a two color ribbon if you want that. And there's your color selector over here on the right side. There's black and then red, okay? And there are, if you look on Etsy and stuff, there are different colors of ribbons out there. This just happens to be the most common. Okay, when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink, the ribbon needs to reverse. And so some ribbons have a little grommet on them where they'll auto reverse. These don't, and so, or if you get have one that doesn't auto reverse, then what you have down here is called ribbon reversal switch. It says rib rev, that's ribbon reversal, and you just switch, and it switches the direction. And when you have a ribbon inside your typewriter, it's gonna last you a really long time. You just go back and forth a bunch um, because there's a lot of ink in those ribbons. Now, this bar right here, this is your tab. So if you're over here and you just hit that and it tabs over and you can see this one has a bunch. If you want to clear a tab, let's say here, clear, that'll clear it, clear it, clear it. Let me hit return. 
So I cleared the tabs that were here. Let's say you want to set a tab. And maybe one, two, three, four, five, set. There, and so that is how you set and clear tabs. Okay, um, copy set. That just determines how hard these type bars are gonna strike your paper. It's just a personal preference. This is your backspace. Backspace does not erase, it only backspaces. Um, so you can type over your mistake or X through it or line through it however you want. Okay, so that's the basics of how to use a Coronet Automatic 10. I hope this helped you. And if you have some questions, let me know below and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks so much, have a good day.